Yo, what's up guys, City Golden here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, we're gonna be playing with the number one ranked player in the world, his deck. It's actually a low paid version, guys, very strange version with the Evil Ice Spirit. I was kind of confused when I saw him running this version because Evil Ice Spirit, in my opinion, probably the worst evolution in the game. And then seeing this guy also being ranked number one in the world is definitely kind of impressive because in my opinion, low paid in the current meta is just so bad. So many counters to low paid with the Evil Zap with the um, evil bomber evil wizard right now is also kind of a counter to the rocket because you can't rocket the evil wizard so i don't really know how he's this high with um yeah look in the world i was sh i will show you guys soon his profile by the way okay let's go here with the goblin barrel let's go with ice spirit as well let's check this guy it's gonna activate the king tower so nice activation by him and then we can go with a knight here so what is he running wizard lumberjack oh looks like maybe it's gonna be a golem deck after seeing lumberjack wizard and elixir collector could maybe be another deck as well but i'm definitely thinking about a potential golem deck here okay so the inferno tower unless he has um oh looks like he has sparky Wait, what is his deck okay it's gonna be a strange version like a strange deck okay he baited out the rocket with elixir collector so the sparky might be um yeah problem defending let's see how we can defend this though let's set up the inferno tower already probably gonna try and tank with i don't know a giant or something in front and then we can here prepare a princess off to the side. Okay. Nice. Looking pretty good. Let's go with the ice spirit here as well. Let's then go with a knight. And then I'm going to prepare my uh, guards as well. Okay. Looking decent. I think that's a pretty good defense. We do need to be careful because the dagger dashes whenever it's out of ammo. It's kind of, yeah, I guess bad against really any unit. But especially against tanky troops like a giant or like, yeah, maybe like a sparky lumberjack or something. Okay, ooh, that was a bad main horde. That was a really bad main horde because the princess was still not locked onto the tower. So the princess actually helped kill the main horde with the help of the dagger dashes. And here we can get some damage with the um, goblin barrel. So he's actually running princess tower, which is amazing for us. I feel like dagger dashes is just so good against the goblin barrel. So playing against someone with, uh, yeah, princess tower, I guess is, um, we're kind of lucky, but yeah, because of that. Okay, let's go lock here and let's then just try to pressure a lot here with the Goblin Barrel. I'm not even going to rocket his Elixir Collector. He is going to get a decent amount of um, Elixir Advantage because of that. But I think it's still worth it here to create some pressure, get a good amount of damage. Okay, let's go Princess now. He's probably going to giant in front or what is he going to do? Okay, looks like he doesn't. Looks like he just lets the Lumberjack and the Wizard go. I'm going to go, I think, with a Knight here. Let's then also go with an Ice Spirit. And then I think we don't even need to um, yeah, over defend this giant. Probably just some late guards. And then with the help of the evil ice spirit. Okay, evil ice spirit actually came in kind of clutch there. I'm not going to lie, guys. Evil ice spirit in that specific situation was actually really good. Normally, it doesn't even jump. Normally, it dies instantly. But the evil ice spirit there was actually yeah pretty clutch. So that was a nice situation of an um, yeah, evil ice spirit actually doing something. Instead of just instantly dying and not doing anything after cycling already to ice spirit. So that's going to be a first W. Very nice matchup. I would say that's like probably the perfect matchup for Lockbait. He had Sparky. It was kind of scary with the Elixir Collector, but then still we have a really solid defense. I'm going to show you guys quickly the profile of the guy who's number one ranked. As you guys can see, it's this guy called Silver with this version we're running. So see you guys soon with game number two. Let's go, guys. Hoping into game number two. So, so far, as I said, pretty good, but it's really rare facing someone with Princess Tower. I would say that out of the 50 games I play, maybe one is running Princess Tower, and sometimes even zero people are running uh, Princess Tower. So that, as I said, very rare thing to see. Okay, let's uh, see what this guy's gonna do. Looks like he has Lava Hound. I kind of want to pressure a little bit on the left side, and then afterwards just set up an Inferno Tower to try and deal with this Lava Hound. We need to be careful because he might have Void. If he has Void, void Spell, we're in kind of a problem. Okay, Guards in the meantime get a decent amount of damage on the left side, so that's awesome. And then here we need to prepare the Rocket, guys. Okay, I think I'm gonna rock it now. I think that's a good timing, right? Please tell me that it is. Okay, nice. Perfect timing. Dagger Dashes will be able to take care of the balloon. And then he's laughing. He's not happy about that one. I mean, you just went lava first play. You kind of ignored my push. And then you just threw the balloon like all the elixir at the bridge. What were you expecting? Okay, let's see what he drops. Looks like he goes Inferno Dragon. We need to be careful if he out cycles us here. Because he um, yeah, might try to lava in front of the Inferno Dragon. Not sure if he's back to it. He spent Bomber, Loon, Zap. Okay, looks like he is back to it. Okay, that's kind of scary for us. We need to be careful here. Let's go with Ice Spirit now. Let's then go with a Knight. And I'm going to go with Inferno Tower kind of high, guys. Okay, we need to protect the Inferno Tower at all costs. So I'm actually going to kind of sacrifice my guards while the Princess and the Dagger Dice is going to help. And then the Inferno Tower also cleans up. So that was... Okay, that was really scary. I'm not going to lie. He still might go with like a Balloon or something to pressure. He has the Evil Bomber. So I think he might go Bomber or what is he going to do? Okay, looks like he just lets it be for this. Uh, for this moment, let's go with the princess here and let's then go with the evil ice spirit. Please tell me the evil ice spirit able to jump on top of the balloon. Okay, another moment where I think that the evil ice spirit is actually going to help us quite a bit, guys. 
Wait, the evil ice spirit might be goaded and no one knows it. I think we just maybe discovered a secret in Clash Royale where the evil ice spirit is secretly one of the best evolutions and we actually didn't know about it. Okay, let's go with... I think nothing here. We can go with Locke just to cycle. Like, mainly this Locke is to cycle. And afterwards, we can prepare, I think, guards plus Ice Spirit. And then cycle back to another um, yeah, Knight. Plus maybe a potential Goblin Barrel. Okay, let's go here with a Princess. And then I'm gonna go Knight. And I'm gonna go with a Goblin Barrel here as well. Okay, good amount of pressure. I definitely think it's gonna be annoying for him. Hopefully, the Knight is able to tank for all the Goblins. There you go. And then the Goblin do get a bit of damage there. Okay, so we need to be careful right now. I'm definitely going to save up Elixir for defense. Let's set up the Inferno Tower. In the meantime, the Prince is getting a bit of uh, yeah, chip damage and damage done to the Inferno Dragon. We do need to be careful. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say that with a potential um, minions. And he also goes with Balloon. Oh, this is going to be kind of scary, though. Mm, what can we do? Can we still defend this? Okay, we need to be careful. Let's go with guards here. Let's go with a Knight up high. We need to get a good Ice Spirit here. Okay, nice. Ice Spirit was kind of clutch. And then do we need something else? Okay, I think we might need a Goblin Barrel defensively. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of... Yeah, not something you want to do. But I think in that specific situation, it was definitely something necessary. Okay, let's see. Let's go with Knight offensively. Let's then go with the Ice Spirit. And then please tell me that somehow we defend this. Okay, nice. Good defense. Let's go with Prince. Okay, Princess wasn't necessary. I, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely panicked there. Okay, let's go Goblin Barrel left side. And then this matchup... Like, this matchup used to be so free, guys. Like, back in, like, I would say 2018... Facing a Lava Hound deck with Lockbait was like one of the um, best matchups you could face. And then nowadays in the current meta, it's just one of the worst matchups because of the evil set. Because of all the things uh, yet yeah, they have in their deck. Okay, let's go guards. Let's go with Knight. And we just need to go all in. Like honestly, I don't think we can defend this. So I'm just gonna try and uh, yeah, go kind of all in here. Okay, let's go Princess here on defense. Oh my god, this match is actually really intense. Like as I said, like this used to be one of the best matchups in the entire game. And then now, because of the current meta, it's one of the worst matchups, actually. Like, it's crazy how things change. Okay, we need to Ice Spirit this, actually. Okay, let's go with Goblin Barrel like this. We need to watch out with uh, Prediction on the Prince, but I don't think he's gonna predict it, to be honest. Nice, he didn't predict it. Look at the Princess. One more shot and it's game. Okay, let's go. We got the shot and it's gonna be rocket damage. What a crazy match. Like, as I said, this deck used to be, like, Lava Hound. Like, Lokvate against Lava Hound used to be really free. And then look how yeah, hard it is to beat it nowadays in 2024. It's actually crazy. See you guys soon with game number three. Let's go, guys. Look to go up against Allen. So let's give him a good luck and let's see what he's going to be running. So what I wanted to say, I forgot to say it in the last match. If there's anyone still running Lockweight consistently, comment down below in the video. And then also, yeah, I don't know how you guys do it. Like I personally used to be, as I said, one of the yeah favorite people to play Lockweight, I guess you can say. Like I used to love playing Lockweight. And then nowadays I just can't really play it because it's just such a struggle like in my opinion it's it's really yeah difficult to play it so i definitely respect those who still play lockbait nowadays and then i don't know how you guys do it i don't know how you guys yeah can win or keep up with some of the matchups with like all the evolutions evil bomber and just all the cards in general in the game right now like look at that the void spell can fully take care of the inferno tower the dagger dashes here is out of ammo so look at all the elixir we gotta spend just to defend those lava pups plus the phoenix like another lava hound deck and then as i said before Used to be a great matchup. I think that we're gonna lose this one. Like, I'm not gonna lie. He has Void, he has Evil Zep, he has Phoenix. This one is gonna be even harder than the one before because the one before with the minions, minions are still yeah, annoying, but you can at least kill them with like the Princess Splash damage. Phoenix is gonna be really hard to deal with, to be honest. Okay, let's go with Knight here to tank for those Barbarians. The only good thing about these versions, they don't have arrows. Well, sometimes they still have arrows as well, but most of the times they only have Zep plus um, the Void spell. So that's, I guess, like a positive thing about this. Okay, nice tombstone by him. That was actually a great tombstone because this way the yeah, Golden Barrel is not being tanked for. And in this case, as you guys can see, he can defend it. Yeah, just with a Zep. Zep plus the, um, the Dagger Dash actually fully takes care of it. Okay, that was a pretty decent princess. He's probably going to have to go with, I would say, Skelly Dragons. Or what is he going to drop? Is he just going to let the princess go? Okay, I mean, it's fine for me. The princess is going to get a lot of damage, my friend. That princess is going to get a lot of damage. Okay, looks like he wants to go for a tower trade. That's interesting. Okay, let's go like this. Let's then go with Princess here to help clean up. And then the Evil Ice Spirit coming in pretty clutch again. Okay, let's go guards here. Hopefully we can protect the Princess there. Nice, we protect the Princess. That's actually huge for us. Evil Knight on the right side is also going to get a decent amount of damage. Let's go with Golden Barrel towards the left side. And then, um, nice. I was about to say that he's still going to have to drop something for the Princess. So he goes with Phoenix here. 
Okay, this is actually looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go with um, Princess at the bridge. Let's then go with a lock here to Psycho. And I'm gonna go with a Goblin Bell here as well. Okay, he goes with Barbarians. Um, looking pretty decent right now. I think we can even keep under pressure. Let's go with Guards. Let's go with Knight. He's probably gonna have to force... Or we're probably gonna force a like Phoenix plus something else. And then here the Princess will clean up all the Barbarians. Nice, great pressure. Okay, very good pressure on the right side. Look at the amount of damage we're dealing to his tower. Let's go with Goblin Barrel as well. If he goes with his Lava Hound, there you go. I knew that he was going to go Lava Hound. We can go with uh, Guards here. Let's go with Guards now. And then afterwards, I'm going to prepare a second Princess. Okay, he is able to take care of everything. We need to get a good Ice Spear. Please tell me that his Ice Spear jumps. Okay, nice. The Ice Spear jumps. That's great for us. We can go with the Evil Knight. And then because of the Ice Spear, it's going to retarget on top of the Evil Knight. Okay, let's go with Inferno Tower here as well. Looks like he goes with everything at the bridge. We need to be careful here. This is looking kind of scary, but I think with the um, yeah, right amount of, how do you say, distraction plus the help of the princesses, we should be able to defend everything here. Okay, nice. Let's go with Knight here to tank. And then looks like we were able to defend. And he actually missed the Void Spell. I thought that he killed our right side princess, but I just noticed that he missed the Void Spell. It's going to be, I think, probably good game. I don't want to call good game too early, but this is looking like good game. How much damage do we need? 541. Okay, we definitely need some more damage. Um, look in the meantime on the left side as well, guys. Nice. Ice Spirit quickly. Let's try and protect the princess. Okay, great. We protect the princess. That's awesome. And then we can go with Goblin Barrel. Look on the left side, by the way, guys. Left side princess being ignored right now. Okay, Goblin gets a hit. And that's going to be a good game. Nice. In the meantime, look at the left side princess as well. If, um, yeah, one more shot with the left side princess. The left side tower was already in Rocket Rage as well. So awesome. I would say that it's still a decent matchup. Like, if you guys play it well... We just beat back-to-back -back Lava Hound players, but it's definitely much more of a struggle than um, it used to be when they only had one Zap. Now Evil Zap, it basically yeah, directly kills the Inferno Tower. Void Spell also really annoying. So very nice W so far, very nice games. Let's hope into, yeah, I think one or two more matches, guys. See you guys soon when I find the next match. Let's go, guys. Look we're up against Skull Sub. He's actually one of the best players in the game right now. He's currently qualified to today's, uh, yeah, monthly, well, it's not monthly finals, I think it's like the top 32, normally in CRL, um, it's a 1000 man bracket, then top 32 advances, so he got, I think it was like top 7, and then today he ends up playing the, the group stage, so it's gonna be hard, um, yeah, match up here against a very good player, let's see if we can get something going, okay, looks like he's running Bomber plus Arrows, probably gonna be some giant deck, if I would have to guess, maybe gonna be Goblin Drill as well, could definitely be Goblin Drill, and then he has, what? Inferno Dragon, okay, I'm gonna rocket this, it's a 6 for 4 trade, Maybe a little bit of aggressive a play, but I think it's still fine to yeah, directly take care of the Inferno Dragon. And afterwards, we can try and cycle back to another with another Lava Hound deck. What's happening in today's video? Why is it like, instead of Clash Royale, it's like Lava Hound Royale today? Everyone is running, um, what's it called? Lava Hound. That's crazy. Okay, I'm going to go Inferno Dragon or Inferno Tower like this. And then I'm probably going to have to go Guard. Okay, I think he has Void Spell, right? Yeah, he definitely has Void Spell. I knew that he was going to Void Spell, but in this case, I think I'm just going to let this be. I'm going to go Guards, and hopefully... Okay, he does go with Arrows. Oh my god, that's going to be Tower, I think. Yeah, that was great, Arrows. Without the Princess there, we're not going to clean up all those troops. So that's... I would... I wanted to call good game, but his left side tower is still at 1,400 HP. But it's definitely not looking good for us. Um, void Spell, Arrows, Bomber, like this is not looking good at all. Okay, let's see though. Can we still make a comeback? It's gonna be rough. He doesn't have arrows in cycle, but if he, uh, yeah, if we go like knight plus goblin barrel, he does have the evil bomber in cycle, so we don't really want to go with the, yeah, goblin barrel here. He would just go with the evil knight. So I think I'm just gonna go knight to pressure, force out some elixir maybe, or he's just gonna ignore it. That's also a possibility. Looks like he doesn't ignore it. Looks like he does go with his knight. Okay, should we go inferno tower maybe plus guards? Or is it not worth it to predict it? Okay, yeah. it looks like it's not going to be worth it. I think I'm just going to go Goblin Bell here. And then I'm going to just let the Lava be. Okay, Rocket on defense. As you guys can see, the Bomber. Yeah, the Bomber is just insanely good against the, the Goblin Bell. It actually fully counters it. And then here, I think we just need to cycle Lock. Okay, what can we even do to try and win this one, guys? Okay, let's go Princess here. I think we might need to try and, like, pressure the right side when he doesn't expect it or something. Okay, nice. This is kind of good for us, I think. Okay, I mean, we're going into a full HP tower, so I don't know if it's a good idea. But we have to do something, like cycling there into the left side lane was also not really an option. So I think I'm just going to go knight here, and then I think afterwards I'm going to try and... We need to cycle towards our golden barrel, but he has arrows in cycle, so I don't think this golden barrel is going to get anything done, to be honest. He's just going to arrow them. Yeah, he has arrows in cycle, so oh, very unfortunate. I don't know why we face so many Lava Hound decks, like, 
We did pretty good until the point where we faced a really good player. And then, of course, yeah, you know that he's actually going to trick on us. Let's just give him the good game. Very well played to him. So I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Today's video was like trying number one ranked Lokmate deck. But instead, it was going to be like how to play against Lava Hound with Lokmate. That was actually crazy. We faced um, yeah, this giant deck in the first game. And then afterwards, we just faced back to back to back lava loon deck so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video that was definitely very fun big shout out to this guy for being number one ranked with Lope. definitely not easy so yeah my respect to him hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please make sure to smack the like button if you're not subscribed to the channel yet feel free to subscribe and hope to see you guys in one of my next videos take care guys